Batman, The Dark Knight, 2008. The film commences with a group of men donning clown masks breaking into a bank where the mob stores a significant portion of their money. Five clowns, each receiving a share of the loot, argue that the Joker, the mastermind who planned but abstained from the robbery, doesn't deserve a cut. Chaos ensues as the clowns turn on each other to secure a larger share. A school bus crashes into the bank, claiming another clown's life. The remaining clown, confronted by a mob bank manager, reveals himself as the Joker, placing a gas grenade in the manager's mouth. The Joker escapes on the bus, leaving the police with a mere smoke grenade. The scene shifts to Gotham at night, where criminals hesitate to commit crimes under the vigilant gaze of the bat signal projected onto the clouds. Lieutenant James Gordon waits with Detective Anna Ramirez, manning the bat signal, hoping for Batman's presence. Meanwhile, the Scarecrow negotiates with the Russian mob in a parking garage, interrupted by fake Batman. Batman arrives, distinguishing himself by not using a gun, and thwarts the mobsters. The Chechen sends dogs after the fake Batman, and Batman intervenes, getting bitten in the process. Batman confronts the Scarecrow, who attempts to flee but is apprehended. The police are left to deal with the captured criminals. Gordon investigates the bank heist and learns about the Joker from Ramirez. Batman arrives, revealing that the drug money has been irradiated for easy tracing. When Gordon asks about the Joker's threat, Batman prioritizes taking down the entire mob. The next day, Bruce Wayne tends to his wounds, and Alfred cautions him to know his limits. Bruce monitors District Attorney Harvey Dent and his relationship with Rachel Doss. Dent joins Rachel in court to prosecute mobster Salvatore Moroni. A failed assassination attempt on Dent leads to Moroni's release, causing frustration for Dent. Dent and Gordon express mutual distrust but form an alliance to target the mob's remaining money in five banks. Dent is dubbed Gotham's White Knight, but questions arise about a mysterious nickname from Gordon's past. Lucius Fox conducts a board meeting at Wayne Enterprises, negotiating a joint venture with Lau, the head of Lao Security Investments in Hong Kong. Following the meeting, Wayne voices concerns to Fox about Lao's seemingly illegal business operations. After deciding to cancel the deal, Wayne asks Fox for a new suit, expressing the need for agility and flexibility to confront challenges like guard dogs and the ability to turn his head. Later that evening, Harvey and Rachel dine out, facing challenges securing a reservation due to the restaurant's popularity. Bruce and his date, the Russian ballet prima ballerina coincidentally encounter them. Bruce, seemingly initially uneasy about Harvey dating Rachel, eventually warms up when Harvey expresses support for Batman. Bruce decides to host a fundraiser for Harvey. Simultaneously, the top mob members gather in a restaurant kitchen due to inside information about impending police searches on their bank stashes. Lau appears on a monitor, revealing the money has been moved. The Joker interrupts, proposing to eliminate Batman for half the mob's money. He warns about Lau being a potential traitor, and after a tense encounter, the Joker departs, leaving a Joker playing card and a prediction that Batman will pursue Lau. Dent and Gordon, blaming each other for the money's disappearance, seek Batman's help. They want to bring Lau back for interrogation. Batman agrees and disappears. Wayne inspects his new suit designed by Fox and plans an impromptu trip to Hong Kong, with Fox accompanying him to create the appearance of canceling negotiations. Meanwhile, the Joker stages his own death, shocking Gamble and recruiting surviving associates through a lethal test of survival. In Hong Kong, Fox meets with Lau, discussing the cancellation of negotiations. Unbeknownst to Lau, Fox secretly uses a modified cell phone to create a sonar map. Batman, relying on the sonar map, infiltrates Lau's building, rescues him, and escapes via a balloon and cable to a waiting plane. Back in Gotham, Lau is interrogated by Rachel, Dent, and Gordon. Despite threats, Lau refuses to disclose the money's location. However, he agrees to cooperate by revealing the names of the mobsters and their pooled investments, providing the leverage needed for a RICO case. Gordon decides to keep Lau in custody at the Major Case Unit building, ensuring his cooperation with the police. Gordon arrives at Moroni's restaurant as the police swiftly move in to apprehend all the mob members present. During the arraignment of the informed mob members, Judge Janet Cirillo discovers a Joker card in the midst of the conviction papers. Dent denies Batman's involvement in a televised interview, 
expressing gratitude for the police's efforts in bringing the mob members to justice. Dent, Gordon, and Commissioner Loeb meet with the mayor, informing him that Dent's impulsive indictment will clean the streets for 18 months. The mayor warns Dent of the consequences, anticipating the wrath of Gotham's underworld and corrupt citizens on him alone. A macabre spectacle unfolds as a Batman impersonator, dressed like the Joker, hangs outside the mayor's window with a Joker card, delivering a chilling message about the real Batman. Bruce and Alfred watch a news tape of the Joker tormenting and killing the impersonator, declaring that people will die daily until Batman reveals his identity. As Harvey Dent's fundraiser commences at Wayne's penthouse, Wayne supports Dent enthusiastically. Rachel confronts Bruce on the balcony, upset about Bruce seemingly mocking Dent. Bruce reassures her of his genuine belief in Harvey as a potential savior for Gotham, hoping to retire as Batman for a life with her. Dent joins them, thanking Bruce and retrieving Rachel. Gordon discovers DNA traces on the Joker card, implicating Commissioner Loeb, Harvey Dent, and Judge Cirillo. Gordon interprets this as a threat and initiates measures to protect them. Unfortunately, protective efforts fail for the judge and Commissioner Loeb, with the judge's car exploding and Commissioner Loeb succumbing to poisoning. Dent proposes to Rachel, but she hesitates. Bruce intervenes, subduing Dent and locking him away while urging Rachel to stay hidden. The Joker and his goons crash the event, declaring themselves entertainment. The Joker seeks out Dent when Rachel steps forward. A confrontation ensues, with Batman intervening. The Joker takes Rachel hostage and shares a distorted tale of his scars. Batman intervenes, leading to a fierce battle. The Joker seemingly vanishes after dropping Rachel from a window, and Batman saves her. The next day, Wayne contemplates the Joker's motives. Alfred shares a story from his past, highlighting the irrationality of some individuals who act without reason, merely desiring chaos. Batman eavesdrops on cell phone frequencies, discovering a plot against Harvey Dent. Gordon, Ramirez, and Batman investigate a crime scene where two policemen with the last names Harvey and Dent have been murdered. Ramirez blames Batman, but Gordon notices an advanced copy of tomorrow's newspaper left by the Joker, predicting the mayor's death. At Wayne Enterprises, Fox meets with Wayne's accountant, Coleman Reese who claims knowledge about funding issues in Wayne's research and development. Reese alleges a secret government project involving cell phones for the military and uncovers Fox's designs for the Batmobile slash Tumblr. He demands $10 million per year for life to keep this information private. Fox, amused, dismisses the plan, highlighting the absurdity of trying to blackmail a vigilante like Wayne. Fox assists Wayne in reconstructing a bullet taken from a murder scene, producing a fingerprint. Fox inquires about the reassignment of the R&D department, and Bruce, playing his cards close, acknowledges the decision. Bruce traces the fingerprint to an apartment overlooking Commissioner Loeb's funeral speeches and speeds off on a motorcycle. As the ceremony proceeds, Bruce finds stolen guns and uniforms in a room, discovering men tied up. They explain their weapons were taken, and Bruce notices binoculars aimed through a blinded window. As the blinds rise, police snipers shoot in that direction. Simultaneously, the Joker, disguised as a member of the Honor Guard, attempts to assassinate the mayor. Lieutenant Gordon takes the shot meant for the mayor, and chaos ensues. Dent discovers a rigged officer named Rachel Dawes and warns Rachel, but she remains silent. Gordon's family is informed of his death, and his wife, Barbara, blames Batman for the chaos. Batman. Watching from a distance, is seen by Gordon's young son. Batman interrogates Maroney, learning that the Joker has no known whereabouts as he operates without alliances. Meanwhile, Dent, enraged and interrogating a captured thug, decides their fate with a coin toss. Batman intervenes, highlighting the unjust interrogation and urging Dent to hold a press conference the next day instead of succumbing to the chaos. Bruce returns to find Rachel in his penthouse. She opposes Batman turning himself in, fearing it won't stop the Joker's rampage. Bruce reminds her of their promise to be together without the Batman mantle. They share a kiss, but Rachel warns that the city won't allow them to be together if Bruce reveals his identity. At Wayne's secret base, Batman and Alfred destroy any evidence tying Lucius Fox or Rachel to Batman. Alfred tries to convince Bruce to endure the challenges and allow Batman to make the right choice for the city. Bruce 
burdened by the responsibility for innocent lives, disagrees. During a press conference, Dent urges the city not to succumb to the Joker's fear. However, the fear prevails, and the crowd demands an end to the terror. Failing to sway public opinion, Dent proclaims himself Batman to divert attention. Bruce Wayne watches with confusion as Harvey is handcuffed and taken away.